Yeah. Big deep breath in. And sleep. Down. Deeper and deeper. That's right. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. Everything's going to return to normal, although you're going to feel amazing. You're going to work tonight for whatever time it is there in NBC. And, and it's just going to fly by. You're going to really enjoy your time at work. But it's going to go past in a blink of an eye. Before you know it, you're going to be back doing stuff you enjoy even more. And whenever you do sleep next, you're going to have the most wonderful, peaceful sleep imaginable. And you might be surprised to catch yourself that that thing that used to bother you around your knee starts to become better and better. And it starts to heal itself up with a sense of involuntariness. In fact, you might notice in a few hours from now, at latest, a few days from now, you'll be walking, you'll be maneuvering from A to B, and you'll just catch your knee and you'll be like, wow, I, that feels so much better than it felt for a long time. I've got so much more maneuverability. It feels really good. My joints feel really good. I'm, I'm pain free. It feels amazing. I don't know what's happened, but... I'm going to let Luke know about this because maybe he did something weird in my head and that pain is gone. At worst, it's completely dialed all the way down. As long as you take care of your knees, as long as you do things that are safe for your knees, that pain no longer needs to give you that signal to hurt you anymore. As long as you listen to your body and you do the right thing for your body, that old pain can disappear. If not, dial all the way down it doesn't need to hurt you anymore as long as you're taking right action to correct whatever you need to correct. Nod your head if you understand the next step. One, becoming aware of the sounds around you other than the sound of my voice. Two, taking a nice big deep breath in of love, energy, light and transformation and breathing out all the crap you no longer want or need in your life. Three, Tonight, when I say five, eyes open, you won't believe you're hypnotized. You'll just think that we were having a chat about the benefits of hypnosis tonight. You will not believe that you were hypnotized. And the more I tell you you were hypnotized, the more you will vehemently stand against it and be like, what the hell are you talking about, man? I was not hypnotized. You will not believe you're hypnotized and you'll have no memory of the hypnosis tonight until... I clap my hands or click my fingers and then everything you did on this online screening call, online hypnotic experience will come flooding back through your mind and fill your face and your body with smiles, happiness, oxycodone and all those good feelings. As for, imagine as every nerve, muscle, cell and fiber in your body was bathed clean, beautiful, clean, clean water. And when your unconscious mind's ready, then and only then, Five, allow your, allow your eyes to open, feeling great. Hey, Joy, how are you? What happened? I'm doing great. Great. What, what happened? You, you fell asleep or something? What, what happened? Did you like the hypnosis that we did today, you and I, on this online call? We didn't do hypnosis. Yeah, we, we've been about 40 minutes or 45 minutes. So I, uh, I stuck you to the chair. Remember, you couldn't get out of your chair. You stuck. Ha, ha, ha. That's funny. No. Are you gaslighting me, man? Like, we uh, were talking about the benefits of hypnosis. You forgot your name. Your name just disappeared. You couldn't say it. It wasn't. And I asked you to say it. And you just, you couldn't say it. Do you remember that? Whatever, Luke. Whatever. You're just messing with me. I know it. Um, I did this thing where I took your voice away and you were telling me about your job and it sounded fascinating but every time I did this you just the words would just do you remember that yeah uh, no um oh okay you must remember this um I turned myself into your favorite actor Clive Owen and you thought you were talking to Clive Owen and you're a bit shy and <laughs> remember that <laughs> that's hilarious well, it was quite funny. Um, and then to finish off, I disappeared my body. So you saw my head and my arms, but you couldn't see my body. You, you said it was a bit creepy, a bit bit weird. Do you remember that? Well, that would be creepy, but no. No, we didn't do that. You don't remember any of that? No. Going on. <laughs> 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 
you remember? <laughs> what do you remember now? Oh, too much. <laughs> what, what, what was your favorite part of that tonight? <laughs> um, probably when your your body disappeared. <laughs> yeah, Me like my body was pretty awesome too. <laughs> yeah, when you when you saw my body or didn't see my body, tell me how that how that was going. What was going on in your brain? Because you saw my head and arms, but really, what was going on when it came to my body? I'm fascinated. I just saw the couch behind you. Really? Yeah. It's weird, huh? Yeah. And, and, when, and when I said I was Clive Owen. Did, how did, tell me how that worked for you. Like when you did, did I really look like? And like tell, tell me how that worked in your brain because you're talking to me and suddenly Clive Owens here. What, tell me how that. What was that like in the brain? It was a little jarring, but I was just like, cool. <laughs> it was a little bit what? Jarring at first, but yeah. it was cool. It was like, all right, I, I can go with this. <laughs> Good experience though. Yeah, it was. So the reason I do fun stuff like this, right, is people are like, well, you know, how, how I make a living is I work helping people to change work it, helping them change things they don't want in life. But the reason I do all these fun things, it's fun for you to give you an experience, um, but it gives it shows you the power of your mind because if you if you can stick if I can help you stick your body to that chair with words then you can stick that resolution in place. Whether that be the smoker has chosen to quit smoking and wants to set that resolution. The person who wants to do weight release and wants to be in control of their eating. If they can stick their body in a chair, they can stick this new goal that used to seem difficult. Um, if I can get you to forget your name that you've had for 39 years, that is so incredibly personal to you, then you can forget about that ex that broke your heart. You can forget about that bad memory that was hurting you. You can forget to do those things that self-sabotage. If I can get you to see things that aren't there, then I can get you to see your goal. That goal that you may think is really far out, but to see it as if it was really in front of you and interact in a real way. If I could disappear part of my body, then I can help you to disappear that barrier that stands between you and that thing that you want to get you to the next level. So they're all little metaphors that come back to show you that you did all of that. It's your car. You drove it. I was just your Google Maps. And you had this experience. So that's your mind. That's how powerful your mind is. You did all of that tonight. So give yourself a round of applause. You were amazing. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you so much. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Absolutely. And in, in time, this video is going to be cut up into different pieces. It will be on, it'll be on Facebook. Don't, you know, be a friend. Feel free to message me. Got any questions? And then um, we'll put the whole thing up eventually. But you were awesome. You are a great hypnotic student. This is going to go great. Thank you. you. Lovely to meet you. And um, enjoy the rest of your evening, Joy. Thank you. I'm going to rush off to work now. <laughs> sure. Have a good night, all right? As we okay, say, thank you. Say always believe. <laughs>